Two New Orleans families were left without homes on Christmas Day after separate house fires. The first happened just before two in the morning on Franklin Avenue. Nobody was hurt there, but four people were displaced. And last night on Morrison Road, a mother and her five kids were left homeless and are trying to figure out their next steps. Jade Cunningham has that story. I won't say I'm lost for words, but I'm lost for words as saying that there's no hope. A special day turned into a nightmare when a single mother of five found her family in a scary situation. It was sparkling. You hear boom, 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 boom. The mom, who only wanted to go by Kim, says it was around 730 when the fire started. Everyone who was able to took action. When my daughter actually looked out of the door, the window, she saw flames. One of the neighbors um, had tried to take a hose pipe and you know, spray the water, but it wasn't working. The New Orleans Fire Department says flames started in a vacant apartment next to Kim's. Firefighters were able to keep most of the fire from spreading. Kim's home, though, while livable, was damaged and now has no power. The Red Cross is helping just with food and clothing, but as far as putting me into a shelter with the kids, they're not doing any of that. It's cold in the house. And I can't have my baby still sitting out here. It's cold outside, it's cold in the house. We asked her what's next, a question she couldn't answer. I really didn't know what to do, but I'm always was the strongest person in a family. So I cannot cry because if I cry, that's going to make my kids cry. And I don't like to see my kids down. The best thing I can do is to stay strong and see what's going to happen from today until tomorrow. And as she looks ahead, Kim hopes help will come, which she says would bring a little joy back after the fire took most of it away. Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News. Kim says she's being told power could take weeks to restore. The specific cause of the fire is under investigation.